Breaking Mueller indicts 12 Russian military officers with conspiring to interfere with U.S. election day before Trump-Putin meeting by Jim Hoff for the GatewayPundit.com. Mueller indicts 12 Russian military officers for conspiring to interfere with U.S. elections. Another junk indictment? This comes a day before President Trump is to meet with Russian uh, President Vladimir Putin. Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, who has been running the show at the DOJ since Trump came into office, made the announcement today. You think uh, Vladimir Putin and Trump don't know what's going on? They're probably cracking up at the stupidity of Mueller. (laughs) <laughs> They're trying to do damage. It ain't going to work. Trump and Putin know what, what this is all about. They're not stupid. The American people know what's going on. They're not stupid. Rosenstein made the announcement today. Rosenstein, there is no allegation the Russians affected any votes. Of course not. The rigged voting machines for Hillary Clinton, the dead people voting, the illegals voting. Yeah, but she won the popular vote. And all this investigating of, of, of the Russia interference is because decrepit Hillary uh, didn't win the election. Boo-hoo. Well, I guess we don't have it. Watch Rod Rosenstein hold press conference. Okay, well, this is like a long press conference and they don't have it for law enforcement announcement. To hold press conference for law enforcement announcement. And what does he say? Oh, it doesn't appear that no allegations the Russians affected any votes. So now, what is he? What's Mueller going to do? He's going to uh, force the twelve Russians that are in the Russian military, twelve Russian military officers, to come to the United States so they can be prosecuted. What kind of crock is this? Just like he he investigated, he indicted the thirteen uh, Russian nationals and the three companies, and one of those three companies didn't even exist at the time. I mean, you know, Mueller is a laughing stock, but again, they're playing in, uh, they're playing to the liberal idiots that don't follow the news, that don't know what the real news is with this Russia collusion narrative, because you have the Democrats in Congress who are a bunch of clowns, who are a bunch of clowns, I may say, interrupting, trying not to get to any kind of answer, trying to sabotage the investigation of any kind, and uh, they listen to these idiots. So what do you expect? Idiots uh, telling idiots what the real story is. Come on, give me a break. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.